RDL, we continue here on TYT Sports. I am Rick, that is Denise, that is Robert Latal, CEO of Black Sports Online. So we now finally have word of what has occurred with Jimmy Butler and the Minnesota Timberwolves, and here we go. This is via The Athletic. While Tom Thibodeau said on Monday that last week was the first time Butler made a trade request, the warning signs of discontent were there much earlier. After the Rockets eliminated the T-Wolves in the first round of the playoffs in May, Butler did not fly with the team back to Minnesota. He took a flight to L.A. shortly after the game was over, refused to do the standard medical exam all players go through as part of their exit interviews. A few days later, he started conveying his concern for the franchise and casting doubts on his willingness to stay long term. To be real with you, really it is a distraction, said Taj Gibson yesterday at NBA Media Day. You look at the talent and the strides we took last year just to get to the playoffs, so many ups and downs, and then you get hit with a right hook right before training camp. It's weird. And then this morning, Mark Stein tweeted, Jimmy Butler and his agent have informed Wolves ownership that Miami is the preferred trade destination. Where the hell did that come from? And then Woj goes on the offensive to facilitate a Butler trade, the sort of uh, broader deal necessary to meet the financial needs of Minnesota and Butler's future term. Circumstances will necessitate bringing the Kings into the process. If the T-Wolves remain intent on unloading Gorgie Jang, three years, 48 million, not worth it, left on his contract, they will need the Kings. No one in the NBA comes close to the $11 million in salary cap space that the Kings possess to absorb a contract as well as several expiring contracts. Here is the best part about all this that I found on Reddit yesterday. He was asked a question. The one thing I never wear is what? And here is what he put years ago. It is a Miami Heat jersey. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, KD said, you know, Wow, Amen. Wise, yeah. Amen. It's there. I know what KD said. Yeah, I, know what I know what a lot of guys said. Yeah. I know what Dana White has said a lot of times. Yeah. I know what others have said in the media a lot of times. Yeah. I said I wasn't going to get a girlfriend when I came to LA and you see how that went. How quickly did that change? <laughs> like literally a month. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, was like, I'm gonna, right, I was like, I'm going to play the field. I'm going to be Hugh Hefner. So explain, <laughs> to, explain <laughs> to me what's going on here with Jimmy Butler. Uh, what, what, like we heard the Clippers, right. we heard the Nets, we heard the Knicks, and now suddenly it's the Heat. I think I think what's happening is, is first off, it's, it's deep deeper than just him wanting to trade. He obviously doesn't think Wiggins, and we've talked about this before, Wiggins and Cat are the type of players that he wants to be with uh, long term. And he'd rather get out early than to get out late, I guess, you know, whatever the situation is. As far as the Heat, uh, he feels that it's Pat Riley. You know, it's Pat Riley. Uh, obviously, D. Wade is there. Well, damn. The Josh Gabrielle Richardson. Union is there, you know. <laughs> but uh, They were joking. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, were, they were joking. joking. But, I think he wants a team, like we talked about, that he can be the leader. Because D. Wade's, you know, retiring after this year. Yes. But also feels a franchise that will put the necessary pieces around him to compete. And I think he wants to go to the East uh, just for that reason. Just because it's an easier climb totally. uh, than the West. It's just it's just odd that, you know, why, just, why not just play it out? But... He wants his super max contract. That's the really the key. He wants the super max. He can only get the super max with the team that you're already on. So he has to get off of the T Wolves and on a team that he likes to get the full, you know, full amount of his contract. Let me ask you both a question. Do you believe that Jimmy Butler would rather be on a lesser team, although albeit in a weaker conference, like Miami, in order to get the max, even though he wouldn't have as many great pieces around him? Yes. Yes, just because it's. I feel like at this point, someone like Jimmy Butler is, isn't necessarily thinking. Let's be real. Like it, the, Miami's gonna be a fifth seed even with with Jimmy on there. Like it's not gonna be Maybe, anything. Yeah. It's not gonna be anything groundbreaking. I feel, and I feel when it comes to Jimmy, he's looking for chemistry and not. not he yeah, he's looking for money, of course, and getting the max. <clears throat> but I don't think he's looking to get a championship, or he doesn't have like a championship mentality. Any time soon or any time in the coming years. And that's fine. Like when you do a group project, you're going to have the people that want to get an A, you want to have the people that are, you know, that want to get a B and some some that are just looking to pass and get a D and they're completely fine with it. And I feel like Jimmy's at a point where he has friends in Miami, he likes the culture in Miami, and though years ago in that magazine he said one thing, maybe his mind has completely changed and he's mm -hmm. he's found a new love in that city. No state income tax as well. That certainly that does help a lot of different scenarios. In the end it does seem about the straight cash, homie. The more I read about it, it's like because a lot Logically, why don't you play it out with a team that just made the playoffs? It probably would make the playoffs again, which you wanted. No doubt. And then just be a free agent. You can pick wherever the hell you want to go. But it seems to me his mentality is, I want to get to the team that I want to be on so I can, you know, this may be my last big contract, and I want every single dollar. It's the Carmelo way. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it seem like they chose who they want to stick with? 
They went with Towns. Right. Towns got 190. Right. Jimmy Butler has already, it seems like, mm-hmm. had the infighting that we've seen play out on social media. Which, by the way, if you are an owner, a GM, a coach of a team, and you see all of your guys mm-hmm. fighting on social media, I mean, come on. I'm not trying to pull a Jimmy Vollmer. Like, I mean, come on. Like, I, all, all I'm saying is, if you're taking a step back and you're looking at your employees and they're fighting like this, one's got to go. And mm-hmm. one has already made it clear that he wants to go. So it's probably going to be sayonara. See you later. They might get Goran Dragic in a deal. Yeah. Potential. That's an upgrade at point guard. I mean, that's, or Jeff just, T. that's just the bad part for the T-Wolves. They gave up a pretty good player to the Bulls. Uh, to get Bulls Jimmy, won the deal. To get Jimmy Butler. And so Congratulations. When they, <laughs> Thanks, what they're going to get back. <laughs> You know, well, you have to t- coach me up on Dane. Would you would you take Hassan <laughs> Whiteside and Goran Dragic? I mean, if that's what they're giving. I mean, right. <laughs> it's, it, they don't have any leverage because Butler took all the leverage away from them. Mm-hmm. If Butler would have just showed up, did all of this in private, yeah. maybe played into the trade deadline, you know, and then they could have been in more control of the situation. If Butler mm-hmm. would have told them, hey, listen, I'm not going to sign with you, but I want I want you to get the best that you can get. I won't make a big production mm-hmm. out of it. Go find, you know, the best, you know, deal. Heard my teams. It kept yeah. it on the low low with KC and JoJo. Then it would have been <laughs> fine. But when you say, hey, I'm having a high profile meeting, and then you walk out the meeting and have somebody leak, I'm out of here. Hey, what leverage, what leverage do you have? KC and JoJo? All my life with Casey and JoJo. Yeah, you know, all my life, JoJo. No, I, I know. Okay. That's literally that the only one. That's a good one. one. I'll give you that. Like that. That's Not one all of, the time, that, but today it was good. Okay, that's one of what my. What happened to Casey and JoJo? They still, they still, you know. What? Yeah, they still. No, they, no, not. Yeah, yeah, they do. They still perform and tour and stuff. What? You've gone yeah, to like see DJ them sets? perform? Absolutely. Yeah, Jonas just had a record out a couple of. Like, and that's how he met his girlfriend <laughs> after a month at the Casey and JoJo show. That's where I need to go to meet a significant other. Not one I could tell on it. Wow. Fine. All right, let us know your thoughts. Comment, touch, below. Subscribe to TYT Sports. We'll see you soon. Do you guys want full TYT episodes? Yeah! So download YouTube TV and get a seven-day free week trial.